So I'm sitting here with the guys from Finger Eleven. Thank you so much for talking to me. You guys are here at Cosmfest, ready to rip a yeah. awesome gig. To me, you guys are the most kind of relatable mega rock band. You get you guys are from Burlington, you know, kind of clo close by. And you guys started out as just like a bunch of high school guys jamming. Yeah. You know, first and only band we've ever been in. Yeah, I, yeah. that's crazy. It's like it's just think of like you know you guys started out of high school and then like when you guys started out, how, did, did you foresee this? going the way it did. I'll say I had the delusion. I was like, well, there's nothing else I want to do, so I'm going to do this. What else right. do I need? We're going to be, a, we're going to be rock stars. Right. Like, you know, but that was when I was like 17. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we Everybody thinks that. So it's the, very silly. Like it's, the full leap. Uh, yes. Like the chance came and we went like, all right, let's, let's do it like full blast. But we're lucky that that happened. No, but all of our friends were doing that. And so we definitely got very, very lucky to just keep, you know, we, we got a few breaks. Mm -hmm. along the way and then nowadays just nobody's telling us we can't <laughs> well i just want to talk about that name the master of the art yeah, that you know uh, i guess you know did you did you have to change it from rainbow butt monkeys to no no well, we you were, know what? We were was... actually discouraged by yeah. the label because they had just did this campaign to launch the band and the, the record and everything and we we were making this new record and we thought this i don't think we want to be that anymore yeah, and right. they just thought, wait, you're changing your name. We're, we're just getting going with this thing. <laughs> yeah. The so, comment. yeah, it was not, it was discouraged. They thought it was crazy. And we were just young enough and dumb enough to be like, yeah, we're, I get, we're doing it. I Shut get up. where people are, are coming from when they say, oh, you must have been forced to change yeah. your name. And like, <laughs> no, we just drew a line in the sand. It was like, oh, this, this doesn't sound the same. We don't even yeah. feel the same. We're not in high school anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the label was like, oh. Okay, I guess and and that, that didn't really go well. And the name sort of was like an accident in the fr first place. Of what, when we were in high school, we were yeah. in these battle of bands every weekend. Yeah, and we would j literally choose a new name every weekend. Like it would be oh. a different name, you know. Okay, we just didn't have a name. We didn't settle upon anything. Right. One week it was the Rainbow Butt Monkeys, and I think it was like the biggest crowd, or we won, or something right. happened yeah. that yeah. significant enough to keep it for the next couple of weeks. Right. And within like three months, we were signed to Polygram with that name. So it wasn't like. A dream of ours, like a dream of ours, it was always a dream of ours to start a band. It wasn't to call it the Rainbow Butt Monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I think the cool like, thing about that though is that we left it behind, but a lot of people didn't. You know, they a lot of people like liked that record a lot. And then with the internet and like it, it like basically our high school band lived on without us yeah. even acknowledging it for like yeah. almost twenty years. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not that we hated it, but it just it was it was it wasn't relevant. To you our, felt like you want to move on from the high yeah, school. Yeah, I mean, we, we were just following our natural yeah. evolution, and it had nothing to do with that anymore. You know what I mean? right, it really right, was what yeah. it was, and then if anything, we sort of came back around to it later in our career. With, with we added sort of the same some of the elements back into the music. And, and we played some right. Butt Monkey songs in recent gigs. Yeah, I mean, you guys yeah. brought it. You guys brought it back. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. like I think we have a better sense of humor about it, but also some of the songs are they, they make sense. They sound like us. But I gotta say, like when we played those Butt Monkey songs, the reaction from the crowd was. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were just like, they like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it wasn't what I had in my head. Yeah. It was like, we haven't played this yeah. in 20 years. It was like, okay, what, what yeah, did like, you like, They weren't so rude. Saying Finger Eleven's kind of a bigger game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I people they think want. they want to hear about monkey right. songs, and then they right. hear about monkey songs. They're like, I don't Bro, even know you should have heard them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, Pretty good. No, they were fun to play. I gotta say, that. Yeah. from a guitar standpoint, right. there was a lot of the things we were doing on the guitar back then that we sort of stopped doing or we moved away from over the years. Right. It's mm -hmm. fun to go back to like that riffage, like really yeah. sort of chunky. Nice. Kind of it was a lot of fun there. Yeah. I want to ask you a little bit about like sort of your movements into like the dance rock style, like Paralyzer. You know, mm -hmm. uh, how does it feel to like play that kind of music when you went to that kind of style? Um, like, what made you want to go there? Well, I guess it, it kind of ties directly to what we were just talking about. Like, the Butt Monkey stuff was always, it came from that kind of funky thing. So it was always in us some way. And it, uh, it always was finding its way out. Like, the Cry Baby pedal is, I don't know, we've been, that's a crutch of ours since, we, right. since I first got one. Yeah. 
and that's just a funky pedal, right? So I think I think it's just always in us, and I don't think we Paralyzer. We uh, the way we wrote Paralyzer was actually to fill time while we were doing a photo shoot. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, like we jam we we went up to the this. It's called the castle because it's a castle. <laughs> and uh, Isn't that clever? We, we would jam up there, and we went up there one afternoon, and we jammed, and it sucked so bad, and we were like, you know what? Let's just call it, man. And as we all packed up, our buddy came in his hatchback. He was like, where are you guys going? We were, you said I could take some pictures. And we're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's pack, unpack and go set up again. And so we were like, let's just play something while he takes some pictures and we get the fuck out of here. And so we started this funky <laughs> riff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Paralyzer. <laughs> For we're like, nice. all right, maybe let's record it before we go then. And then that's how, that's this how song started. changed our life, but it was like such a pain in the ass at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome but story. But so, yeah, never a conscious effort to do dance rock. It was more like, what can we do with our hands while this guy takes a picture? <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. And I think th there's a thing that we sort of joke about, like, we genuinely don't really ever know what the next song's going to sound like. That right. Right? We just, it's always been that way. Yeah. Just because there's never been a... Like we don't have a mindset of like, okay, we're going to try and make this kind of music. We've never done that. We never even had that discussion. Right. But once we start making some music, if it's cool, oh. it's sort of, we just go with it. And, you know, I mean, the only thing we don't, probably don't do is like reggae. And yeah, you, yeah, well, yeah, you yeah. just kind of skewer it. Like, but on. but to be true. honest, I mean, there's some John Lennon stuff that's reggae. -ish tomorrow, if we jammed a thing and it had a reggae yeah. vibe and we it all worked. liked it, it would be in yeah. our repertoire. You know? yep. like, that's just sort of how we approach this. It would stuff, be like so. the grungiest reggae <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, yeah. of all time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not to say I, I love reggae music. Like, it's just never, we never jam reggae. Right. You know what I mean? Like, but, yeah. Well, actually, it kind of segues into my next question. I was like, going to ask you, like, what do you think is the next kind of direction Finger Eleven? Well, we sort of have it right now in our yeah, we got world. There's about 10 tunes that we've sort of... We hadn't put a record out for, what, I guess five years, and it didn't feel like we even wrote for the last five years. And all of a sudden, we sort of put them all in a folder, and there was like 40 ideas, and then we picked the best, like 15, and we've worked on them. And next thing you know, we have almost like a album's worth of material. And I can tell you, it's 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 cool. It's dark. It's Rock, like, rock and yeah, lots yeah, of yeah. guitar. Yeah, it's like uh, it's in back, your face. Yeah, it's like face. back to the big guitar rock for us, like you know, like riffs and not heavy. I don't know if there's like, much in the way of dance rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> but it's maybe at moments, like there's some good flavor changes. Mm -hmm. well, you know what? I don't want to keep you guys for too long because you guys got to go sound check, set up, oh, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Oh, well, we got to kind of linger around Getty Lee's dressing room oh, right. door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Getty! It's just a story. <laughs> so while we're at it, can we get a picture? <laughs> Well, thanks so much for talking yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs>